Hello everyone, thank you for joining us one more time and we are here today to talk about batching. Mark, thank you for joining us. Hi there, thanks for watching. And so, how about you tell us what is batching and how should I, why should I care as a developer on knowing what batching is? So in many cases, when you start an application against Microsoft Graph, you're going to grab several pieces of information. So if you imagine an email client, it might need the user's name, their photo, possibly their email messages, and maybe even information from their calendar. And you can make things a lot more efficient by putting all those requests into a single HTTP request. And what we do is we actually stuff them all into a simple JSON payload that's very natural and intuitive to use. So instead of me sending four or five GET requests, I just put them all in a JSON in a one single over the wire HTTP request. That, that's right. And then you don't have to worry about the memory management of multiple HTTP requests and so on and so forth. And is it only that I can do GETs? Or can it no, support you can, more? You can do any number of combinations. Okay. So you can do reads and writes and all sorts of stuff. Great. So how about we see batching in action? Sounds good. Great. So here we are in Graph Explorer. If I click the Show More Samples, I can go ahead and add a couple sample queries for batching. So I'm going to turn those on, and it adds two simple queries for us. The first one is to do parallel gets. And as we can see, there are two requests here, one for me and one for my email messages. So if I run this request, then behind the scenes, what I get is a parallel response. So I've got two responses, one response that gives me information about me, Megan Bowen, and another response that gives me information about my email messages. But we also mentioned that we can combine writes and reads in batching. So here we have a separate request that goes out and first creates a child folder, and then separately it requests that folder back. We can go ahead and run that request. Again, we get two responses back. We're going to get one that says that the, the folder was created, and separately we're going to fetch that particular folder back. So that's a very good example. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me, why wouldn't I use batching everywhere? Well, there are downsides to batching, and mm -hmm. one of the downsides is because it's a single request and a single response, it takes as long as the longest request takes. Mm. So if you have a bunch of small requests, all of, all of similar sizes, like users' names or your pages of email, then those will come back in a pretty similar time. But if you're pairing up small requests with one long request, then it's always going to take as long as the longest request. Common denominator, basically. That's, just... right. That's right. OK. Well, so batching isn't always the perfect solution. Good. Thank you, Mark, for teaching us about batching today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And remember, all of our documentation and information about how to use Microsoft Graph, you can find it in graph.microsoft.com and our doc documentation and developer portal. Thank you for watching, and happy coding. Thank you.